Hello everyone, our lesson for today is all about visualizing division of fractions. This is one whole, and we're going to divide this one into 20 equal parts, and we're going to shade 16 parts of it. So, this figure is 16 over 20. 16 is the numerator, and it tells the shaded parts and 20 is the denominator and it tells how many parts the whole was divided. We're going to divide this one to our second figure. We're going to divide into 5 equal parts and shade 1 part. So the second figure is equal to 1 fifth. Before we're going to divide 16 over 20 by 1 fifth, let's try first an example of a whole number. Example 10 divided by 2. Okay, in a division sentence, 10 is the dividend and 2 is the divisor and the answer is called quotient. So, how many 2's are there in 10? Let's illustrate. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then we're going to group this one by 2. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. How many group of 2 are there in 10? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 10 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 5. The same way with our fraction. How many 1 fifth can fit into 16 over 20? Okay, let's try to fit. This is our 1 fifth, then this is our 16 over 20. Okay, we're going to fit 1 fifth into 16 over 20. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it means that if we're going to divide 16 over 20 by 1 fifth, the answer is equal to 4. Another example, this is one whole, we're going to divide this one into 16 equal parts and we're going to shade 8 parts of it. So this figure is 8 over 16. And we're going to divide this one into our second figure. The second figure, we're going to divide it into four equal parts and we're going to shade one part of it. So this second figure is one fourth. So eight over sixteen divided by one fourth. How many one fourth are there in eight over sixteen? How many one fourth can fit into eight over sixteen? Okay, let's count. One, two. So 8 over 16 divided by 1 fourth, the answer is equal to 2. There are 2 1 fourths in 8 over 16. This is our answer.